Good morning, Bell High School. I'm Gio Mac. And I'm Marissa Lane. And you're watching Colors, Colors TV, TV News. And Seniors are preparing for their futures and many have attended college visits and begun filling out their FAFSAs. Caleb Kormanik and Austin Farrell have the story. With seniors getting closer towards graduating, many have started taking steps to prepare for college. Here's Ms. Slinger talking about what seniors need to do and possible options outside of going to college. Um, it's very important for seniors to file the FAFSA. The FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid. And every senior should be filing the FAFSA regardless of what path they will take after high school. Um, if they're going to college, they will need to file the FAFSA to get um, financial aid such as um, grants or loans or work study opportunities. Um, the same applies to trade school. And I also tell students um, who are interested in the military or the workforce to go ahead and just file the FAFSA anyway um, because it will be there as a backup for them if they decide later on that they want to attend a college or trade school. And in certain circumstances, if a student plans to do like an ROTC program, um, their recruiter may require that they file the FAFSA. So that's probably the most important step for seniors to take, um, and that should be completed by February 1st. Um, at this point in the school year, too, it's really important that seniors are working on applications for colleges and trade schools. Seniors who are interested in college may consider um, options such as trade school. Um, a lot of students don't realize that the A-plus scholarship um, can cover certain trade programs in the state of Missouri. Um, for example, if a student is interested in welding, um, but they don't really see themselves going to like a four-year college, um, but they're in the A-plus program, uh, the A-plus program covers Longview Community College, which has a welding program. Um, so trade options are always um, a good resource for seniors. Um, there's also um, military recruiters that visit VHS um, a couple times throughout the school year. Uh, that's a great resource for students to ask questions about potentially joining the armed forces. And then, of course, students also have the opportunity to enter the workforce straight out of high school. Um, I'm happy to meet with students to discuss career options, um, not just college options. Um, it's really important for sophomores and juniors to just really focus on doing their best in school. Um, I meet with a lot of seniors who tell me that they wish they would have taken school more seriously their um, sophomore, freshman, or junior year, because um, GPA is a big factor in getting scholarships. So just really um, putting your best foot forward with your classes will really help you out during your senior year. And also, if you can, um, doing some ACT prep will really help you out as you get towards junior and senior year. Um, BHS offers an online ACT prep class that students can take, and I'm also happy to meet with students to do ACT prep. Um, so those two things, I think, are the biggest for underclassmen. Jaden Norman talks about what she's done to prepare for college. Um, I have filled out my FAFSA, and I am taking um, several college tours, college tours in the upcoming weeks, and um, I'm doing a lot of research. Um, advice that I would give to juniors and underclassmen is to just really push yourself and work hard and even if you don't want to take hard classes, you should. Um, it'll just get you farther ahead in the end. With Caleb Kormanik, I'm Austin Farrow with Cutlass TV News. This month, the Pro Star class is cooking up fruit turnovers. For how to make this recipe, here's Mason Fulton and Chase Thomason. We are making fruit turnovers. Our ingredients include two homemade pie crusts and one cup of your choice of filling, two tablespoons of sugar, and one half teaspoon of cinnamon. Preheat an oven to 425 degrees. Roll out two circles of pre-crust, cut the pie crust into sixths. In a large mixing bowl, add one cup of filling, one fourth teaspoon cinnamon, and one teaspoon of sugar. Mix thoroughly. On one side of the crust, wet the edges. Add your filling mixture into the pie crust. Apply the second pie crust on top of the filling and crimp the edges. Add 1 4 teaspoon and 1 tablespoon into a small bowl and begin to mix. 
Once mixed, add a smaller amount on top of each turnover. Place in the oven for 13 to 16 minutes. Place in the oven for 13 to 16 minutes until brown on top. Pull them out and let them sit for five to 10 minutes and, and enjoy. With Thanksgiving approaching, students reflect on what they're thankful for. Here is a reflection montage by Chiu Mack, Josh Middlestad, and Mariah Dickinson. I'm thankful for the football team. I'm thankful for my friends and my family. I'm thankful for winning the conference. I am thankful for my parents. I am thankful for my friends and my family and a wonderful place like Belton to work for. I'm thankful for all the opportunities I am provided. I'm thankful for lunch. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my family and God. I'm thankful for my dog. I'm thankful for cheer and friends. I'm thankful for my boyfriend. I am thankful that all of our students are here in person. I'm thankful for fuzzy socks. I am thankful for my family. I'm thankful for thankful about as an English teacher. I'm thankful for Brooklyn. I'm thankful for my friends and family and my cat. I am thankful for my Mexican heritage. I am thankful for Tommy McKinnon making the basketball team. I am thankful for being back at school. I'm thankful for my friends and my family. I'm thankful for Chase Nugent. I'm thankful for my coaches and teammates. I am thankful for friends, food, and uh, breaks. I'm thankful for this, these chicken wings. I'm thankful for Drew Bollinger. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. And as always, Carpe, Carpe Diem. Diem.